I feel like I'm with royalty right now. This is kind of amazing. I apologize. Well, he is royalty. You are sort of, yeah, in a are. way. I, Evan Sterling, if you would, for the people who don't know, tell everybody who you represent in this movie. Uh, I play Queen Aduna, Anna and Elsa's mother. Right, and I'm Lieutenant Destin Matias, who was a soldier in the grandfather in the grandfather's army of Elsa and Anna. So you two have a tremendous body of work, but is there a little bit of trepidation going into this, knowing that there's a lot of pressure? A lot of eyes are going to be on this. Yes, there was this nervous excitement, but at the same time, I feel like I've been prepping for this my whole life because I've been singing Disney songs as far back as I can remember. Sure. So I felt ready. I felt yeah. really, really ready. It felt right. I, I, it still hasn't really hit me, though. I did not feel ready. <laughs> oh, I haven't sang in a long time. And, and, and so just to be invited has been kind of phenomenal. I feel like the pressure is probably most felt by Jennifer and Chris, yes. right? Maybe. Because they're the ones that are sort of putting the whole thing together. I just try to show up and play. Like, that's my thing. If I'm having fun, then hopefully that will be felt when people see the final performance. How cool is it as actors when you do a role, like no matter how many you've done, you're probably looking at lighting and did I hit my mark or which take do they use? But in a process like this, you get to go in and there's a part of you that can discover it like the rest of us. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we don't, I didn't get to read the <clears throat> script. I was shown storyboards yeah. and yeah. I could read my scenes. Um, and look at the artwork, but really, yeah, as seeing the story for the first time, watching the film, was incredible. Complete freedom, man. Yeah. I mean, and they encourage you to play. Like, there's what's on the script, and they're like, okay, if you want to make it your own in some kind of way, or what would you think you'd say after this? And they just start improving lines, and you improv back at them. And there's so much fun, because they, you're only reading with Chris and Jen, right. like the director and the writer. And they're really good actors as well. So you, I was wondering, will I feel like I miss like not being able to interact with any of the other characters? But they're so present and so engaged that you're like, okay, this works. Yeah. I see why it works now. And do you have a favorite moment? In the film? <laughs> yeah. I'm well, sure. or in, in life, if there's something you want to drop on it, in, in anything. Uh, I, I, I love, just Olaf cracks me up awesome. so much. Because he's like becoming conscious. Yeah. Conscious <laughs> and and growing up and and becoming philosophical and questioning things no and like it's just hilarious. He's to a me. sentient snowman. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's really funny to watch. I love uh, Jonathan's duet with himself. I think it's absolutely brilliant. He's singing as himself and singing as his reindeer. I've never seen anything so that's made me delight even more. What's weird is so <clears throat> musical and beautiful and silly all at the same time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's the Disney way. I mean, you will come out a changed person, yeah. like you were saying, feeling empowered and like you want to make the world a better place, but you also have a laugh and you were Absolutely. silly. And right. I mean, it's just it's got all of it. They don't make medicine movies. They, they make movies with messages, but they also make mo movies that move you to laughter and to tears. Well, this movie makes the world a better place. Thanks for hanging out. Thank Thanks a lot, Mark.